by the time I was in my early 30s, I looked around, I was relatively successful as a scientist, well-published, well-known, perhaps respected. I was in a tenure-track position at a university. And my mother was pleased, but I mean, this is killing me. I felt that modern life was fundamentally unhealthy, not just for me, but for everyone. Almost all jobs are slavery, especially if you have to do something you either don't want to do or makes you feel horrible. I felt to be really healthy in a self-honoring way, I had to remove myself from the strictures that were making me do things that were stupid. This little island out here was an opportunity for me to be withdrawn from culture and society and to just take care of myself on land that I bought the right to pay taxes on, sell the stuff I didn't need, and try to live as pure as I could. Hi. I'm David Kaufman, director of Chopping Wood and Carrying Water, The Life of Dr. Ryan Drum. As a filmmaker and a photographer, I love details and texture, and I'm fascinated by the human experience, how each of us experiences the world in our own unique way. Ryan Drum is a character that fascinates me, well established in the herbalist community. He's also a leading scientist in his research about seaweed, its medicinal and herbal uses. Ryan lives off the coast of Washington State on a very isolated island in the San Juans. He's been there for 40 years. No running water, very limited electricity, and even though he's well into his 70s, he sustains himself every day by literally chopping wood and carrying water. The film follows roughly a day in Ryan's life. The tactile quality of his life to me is, is just so beautiful. The way he works with his hands, he gathers herbs. He just really lives life every day to his fullest. The film also shows his evolving philosophy. How when he moved to the island, he moved there really to abandon society in search of a sense of purity. And slowly, the realization came upon him that the purity doesn't really ever exist. He could never completely separate himself from the culture and society that he was inextricably a part of. There's no way for him to go back to the way things were. Even through his changing philosophy, Ryan continues to live a life of simplicity and joy. I think we can all learn from Ryan, especially now. There's so much dissatisfaction in our consumerist culture. People that I know don't want to be indentured to a mortgage for the rest of their lives or have some career where they're really not satisfied or fulfilled. And then there's Ryan. There's this guy that's lived his life completely by his own rules. He's an inspiration. We can all look at him and feel into what it's like to live as freely and as fully as possible. Not that we all have to, you know, abandon society, move to a tiny island, but I think everyone can be inspired by, by Ryan's way of life, away from the strictures or conventions that society places on us. It takes a bit of money to make a really good film. Already, myself and the rest of the production team, Familia Folks Productions, have donated time and out-of-pocket expenses to get to where we are now. Here on Indiegogo, we're reaching out to gather financial support to help tell Ryan's story. And with your help, we can get back on track with production uh, in the fall and get this film ready to be seen by early next year. Through Indiegogo and From the Heart, your donation is tax deductible. Thanks so much for checking out the project and hopefully you'll support us in sharing Ryan's way of life and getting this film made. Thank you so much.